you've really come along in these last few weeks. Uh, what do you think uh, the difference has been, and how has Kyle really shaped? Uh, you know, I think just repetition, going in there and doing it a lot. Uh, things are starting to slow down a lot for me, and um, my knowledge of the offense has, has gotten a lot better since you know OTAs and even since the camp has started. Um, but you know, Coach Coach Shanahan is great at helping me come along. I'm, I'm, I try and ask him as many questions I can to try and know how his mind works, so that when I'm in um, you know in practice and in live reps, I can try and think like he thinks. Um, so that's why I like to ask him what he sees or, or um, and stuff like that. When you you say things have slowed down, when they were moving faster earlier, is that because? Players are faster at the NFL level, or the playbook is. is I'd say the playbook. Yeah, okay. just, you know, when you first get here, it's a whole new offense. Just a lot of stuff thrown at you um, in a short amount of time, um, and like I said before, having the the repetitions, having to go out there and do it day in and day out, um, you feel a lot more comfortable doing it uh, the more you do it. Um, not not really one on one time. Uh, you know, I. I talk with them on the field sometimes, asking them about certain plays that I had, uh, what I should have done, or if I could have done something different, stuff like that. But he, he's in our, our quarterback meetings uh, quite a bit. And, you know, it's, it's nice watching tape, watching film, you know, with, with him. So, you, you know, you know just exactly what he was thinking. Too much speed out there, Marquis and Aldrich Robinson. How much of an adjustment was that, trying to just to get on the same page as those guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of speed on, on this team. You know, those two guys are the first guys that, that pop into your head, but you know, there's a lot of other guys, talented, you know, speedy receivers out there. And um, it's just a matter of, you know, again, repetitions, getting with those guys, trying to see how they run routes, how they break down, how they, you know, run go balls and, and, and things like that. And, uh, you know, the, the more you, reps you get with, with certain guys, uh, the better your chemistry is with them. You say something about trying to familiarize familiarize yourself with how uh, Coach Shanahan's mind works. How does it? What What have you learned about how he thinks or approaches the game? I mean, he's just really smart. I mean, he knows the offense. Uh, you know, obviously, it's, it's his offense, and, and he knows it, you know, really well. And and again, he knows what the defense is doing. Uh, also, um, you know, before you know, as the ball snapped, he goes through every play as if he was sitting back there at quarterback and. Um, he puts himself in that position and, and plays every play as if he was playing the quarterback position. So it's nice to ask him, you know, what he thought where he would have gone and, and what he was thinking on certain plays. So you can try and um, replicate his his uh, thought process as much as possible. It seems like you guys have gotten to the point of installing some more complex stuff. You had some success off of play action today. As a quarterback, is, is that fun for you when you get to that point where? You're setting up the defense a little bit, and, and you could find some vulnerabilities that way. Yeah, definitely. I think it starts up front. Uh, I think we run the ball well, and uh, when you're running the ball good, that usually your, your play action game is working well as well, and, and your bootleg stuff. Um, you know, the, we've been able to uh, to do well in that uh, through camp, and hopefully we can continue that throughout throughout the preseason and season. It seems like Brian's gotten off to a good start um, in, in training camp. From, from your angle, what? what what has allowed him to, to be successful in, in this offense so far? Um, yeah, no, I think Brian's done a great job so far. Uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, just his experience and, and you know, he's, he's been, you know, a bunch of different offenses uh, for the last however many years he's been playing. And, and uh, I think that you know, he knows the game so well um, that, that he's able to teach me and you know Matt and, and Nick, uh, what he's seeing on things and wh why he made certain throws, and it's just really really good more than anything to, to learn from from a guy like that who's been in the league for so long and um, he's been in the offense for you know with with Kyle at uh, at Cleveland, so he knows the offense um, and uh, yeah, it's just it's nice to learn from him. See, watching on the sideline, it seems like a number of throws are, are anticipatory in the sense he's throwing to guys before they make their breaks. Is that is that something? Um, that's that's the next level for you and your understanding of the offense. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you know a lot of it is being able to anticipate throws and windows is having trust in, in chemistry with certain receivers as well. I definitely think that's that's uh, you know one of the next steps is being able to trust the guys and just just throw it where they're supposed to be in, in spots before they come out of their breaks. Definitely.
this is a, what is the zone blocking scheme do for you as a quarterback, particularly with, with the play action? Uh, yeah, I think uh, just being able to run the ball in general, which we do well, uh, our run game is is is, uh, is really good, and I think being able to, to run the ball well opens up the play action game and, and the and the bootleg game, and and uh, yeah, I think that just you know helps bring your offense together as a whole. And then when you can run the ball well and then play action well, it it's puts a lot of stress on the defense and what they have to to protect and and watch out for. Is there maybe you know, once you get to this level, you, you kind of know obviously the basics and some nuances of playing quarterback. But is there anything you picked up from Kyle or, or otherwise since being in the NFL where you're like, wow, that is very helpful. I never, I never knew that. I yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things. You know, Kyle knows the offense. It's, it's the offense so well. I'm more in general, just more specifically speaking, just the offense. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to master the offense as best as possible. Um, and when he teaches me things, tells me things within the offense that will help me see certain schemes differently or or put this route scheme versus this coverage, uh, you know, what coverages work best versus this, this route co um, um, combination, you know, stuff like that really, really helps me. And um, he's helped me uh, move along in that sense. When it comes to, to studying, you know, advanced level stuff like that, at, at Iowa, you obviously got to go under center out of a pro-style offense. There's some guys that, you know, are rookies that never even took a snap out of under center in their life until the pros. Do you feel that the fact that you already, you know, have those reps from college has allowed you to bring an earlier focus on some of this other stuff that you're Yeah, I, mean, I think about? so. I mean, it's really not not that hard to teach someone to, to get a snap under center, but I think having played in a pro-style system helps more than anything, being under center, um, run a lot of the same kind of like scheme type stuff. You know, obviously the terminology is completely different than what I ran at Iowa, but um, just you know, like you said, being under center, I think that you know, it does help a little bit. But uh, I think more than anything, just playing in a pro system helps the most. You're known as a, a bit of a perfectionist, so early in camp when you know things weren't coming as easily, were you ticked off or frustrated, or how did you deal with that? No, I mean, I, I, it's just part of the game. You know, when you're when you're a rookie, you're you're new to an offense. You're not going to make uh, uh, you're not going to be perfect, and you know there's going to be mistakes and. In plays where you mess up and, and forget things, and um, that, that's part of the game. I mean, it happens when you're you know a freshman in college, you get in there. But as you continue um, getting better with more reps, uh, the easier it comes, and, and that's just how it's, it's been going. And uh, you know, it's taking things day by day. You don't get stressed out or, or, or mad about certain things. You really got to put them in the past and um, just keep making steps forward. A couple more. How wrapped up do you get in where you are on the depth chart? How many snaps you're going to get in the first preseason game, stuff like that? Yeah, I don't think much about that at all. Uh, I'm just trying to go out there and do the best I can with, with every snap that I get in practice and then in the game. Um, I'm excited to get back out there on the field. It's been feels like forever since uh, I've gotten some live, you know, uh, work in since you know the end of last season. Uh, but you know, I don't think anything about the the depth chart stuff and, and snaps. I just want to do the best that I can when I'm in there. Exhibition games when you're in high school or college? Uh, any like preseason games? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, especially last year, I had a lot of friends that, that went into the NFL that were on teams I like to pay attention to and keep up with. Um, yeah.